Now you, of course, need to start with an initial selection of weights. So here's what not to do. Setting them all to zero. Anything times zero, you already know the answer. The punchline will be everything will be zero, no learning will happen. The next worst thing that you can do is set them all to the same number. Because fundamentally what this is doing is asking, well, whom do I blame? So you're looking for the most heinous looking culprit and if they all look the same, then there's no one to blame. And then all of a sudden, no more learning happens and you have a problem. And that's a, that's a, a, a kind of noob gotcha that happens also, either setting it yourself that way or having it just accidentally end up learning itself into symmetry and then there's no one to blame and then all of a sudden learning stops and you're like, what happened? And you go to your senior machine learning sensei and they're like, oh, don't worry about it, just whack the TV one time, just restart it and see if it's okay. And you're like, what is this black magic? This makes no sense. What, I just whack it and it works? Well, whack it with another selection of random weights and hopefully you don't end up with that bad symmetric situation and off we go. So symmetry is not your friend here. And if you end up in a situation with too much symmetry, then you might s see that learning got stuck and isn't happening. Another reason it may stop behaving itself, stop learning is maybe somewhere in there you're doing a lot of multiplication over a lot of layers. And you're multiplying fractions with fractions and fractions multiplied with fractions, multiplied with fractions, multiplied with fractions become very small numbers and eventually your computer can't tell the difference between them and problems. Now, when it comes to this weights thing, the way to approach it is pick random starting weights. Yes, they are all wrong, but one of them is more wrong than the others, and then off we go. And I've got a footnote for you on some advice on how to set the weights. Okay, so the pros and cons of neural networks. The pros are that these complex transformations have so much flexibility that if everything else has failed, these still might succeed. They are best at fitting. So what's the con? What's best at fitting is also best at? Overfitting, exactly. And not just that. Remember the limbo, the overfitting limbo that you can get stuck in? Well, to work with these things it takes more engineering effort and more computing resources. And so now you are riding this limbo merry-go-round, but you are riding it slowly, very slowly, and that is a painful existence. So you don't want to start with these if you have no reason to suspect that everything else is useless. You only want to be playing this game if you're pretty sure all the simplest stuff isn't going to work out for you.